guys, it's Erica here with Tiny Acorn. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm excited to share with you some of the outfits that I have worn over the past couple of weeks. For some reason, I have really been gravitating towards long maxi length floral dresses and style them up with boots, put sweaters on top and coats and whatnot. Um, but I actually have had quite a bit of trouble finding the particular type of dress that I want when I've been out thrifting. So I got on Threadup's website because not only are they the world's largest online thrift store, but they also have all the brands that I like, like Madewell and Zara. So I searched for long floral dresses and long sleeve shirts and all of these things that I had been wanting for the winter season and I was able to get them. And I'm really excited because of course I would always much rather purchase these things secondhand than brand new. So today I'm going to share with you guys the outfits that I've been wearing and how I've styled these pieces up. So I've partnered with Thread Up for this video. If you guys want to get 30% off your first purchase there, go ahead and use my code Erica30 to get 30% off and I'll put a link down in the description box for you guys to make it easy for you. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe down below that way you don't miss a single video. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the outfits. All right, so today I am getting dressed for Cirque du Soleil. I'm so excited because I've been wanting to go to Cirque du Soleil for years, and I finally got tickets. It's actually the Ama Luna show, which Ama means mother, Luna means moon, so it's Mother Moon. It's under the big top in San Francisco, so from what I've read, it can get pretty chilly. So let's see what I pull together. So it's been a while since I've worn these. So I was thinking about trying to wear these teal trousers. Okay, so I was thinking about wearing these little shoes I got from Thread Up with like a fun sock or something. Yes, I love this. I love the color of the socks matching so closely with the pants. I think that's so cute. Um, so these shoes, they're this Spanish brand called GJ brand. The retail price was $36 and I got them for $14.99. Okay, so this is a possibility for a top. I mean, it definitely would go. Then I was also thinking of like perhaps throwing this blazer and trying to style with this instead. It's forest green from thread up tag still attached 129 originally but i got it for 48.99 so that's a good deal i don't know if it's gonna go with the teal it might just be like the right amount of quirky or it might not work at all so let's try it all right so i don't know if it's totally working for me right now i think because the jacket's like this olive green it just feels a little bit and I think I might want to go with like a, a jacket with a longer silhouette instead. So I think I'm going to try that. So I was going to try this shirt, but I kind of uh, remembered that I have this little mock neck turtleneck that I thrifted and my ears are so dirty and I try so hard to clean it never works yeah i think this is a little bit more of the vibe that i'm going for um and then i could totally wear my camel colored coat over the top that i got from thread up in one of my last videos okay so i really like this i think it's kind of chic and quirky at the same time um i think what makes it look chic is like from here up but then if you go down the party is on the bottom isn't it I kind of was thinking about pairing it with a red beret because I thought that might be fun. Okay, so I grabbed this little super cute mud cloth little tote. I think it really makes this outfit a little bit more fun. Just adding this pop, this little print in my accessory. Yeah, and then I like how the black of the shirt and the shoes tie in with the bag. And then the red in the lipstick and the beret. It's a really fun outfit and I really like how it came together. So yeah, that's the final look. I'm excited to go see Cirque du Soleil, yay!
Good morning. I just woke up and I am going to get ready today to go be a hair model for my friend um, at her salon. So I'm gonna get a free shampoo and Olaplex treatment out of it. So that's nice. But yeah, I gotta find something comfy and cozy to wear. So let's see what I can find. Okay, I did my makeup wearing my robe because it's freezing in here. <laughs> I've been wanting to wear this blazer. So I'm gonna try to build an outfit with this. I wanna be super comfortable and I wanna be warm if I have to take this off, which I probably will because I'm gonna be wearing a cape. <laughs> so I'm thinking of putting it on with my black cashmere sweater. Okay, so I have on my comfiest pants possible, my kick crop jeans and this outfit is pretty boring <laughs> okay so it kind of injected um, a little bit more personality into this otherwise boring outfit i was gonna do vans my high top vans and then i opened up my closet and i saw these guys which i think is pretty cute with this outfit especially with the red sock popping out and you know that when you're getting your hair done, the only thing people see is your socks and shoes anyways. Here is the look. I feel like I could totally call it quits at this point and be okay, but I feel like it needs something else. Probably a red lip because I wanna tie in the red on this cool jacket. Um, and then I was thinking about doing like a little pin on my lapel. So I decided on this little pin that my husband got me. Okay, so I have the red lips, the little pin, and I grabbed this little purse. So here is the completed outfit. All right, see you guys later. Tonight, I'm going to be getting dressed for a date that I'm going on with my husband, and I feel like with like winter being in the air and everything, I've really just been wanting to get some long, flowy dresses in like floral prints and fun prints, and just kind of layer on like sweaters or coats or wear boots with them, and the truth be told, I actually didn't really have any long floral dresses except for one. Sometimes it can be hard to find those things in the thrift store and to be honest, I've been thrifting like all the time and I still haven't found like the perfect floral dresses that I want. So that's why I love Thread Up because I got on their website, I punched in, you know, that I wanted maxi length and floral and all these dresses popped up in my size. So I'm really excited because I got them and I'm in love with them. I'm gonna try to choose one of them to wear tonight and style up a look around it. Let me go ahead and show you which dresses I'm choosing between. So I have this one that's green maxi length. I love it so much. I know that you guys think red's my signature color and it is, I really love red, but I actually love, 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 love green. Like, maybe even more, but it's just that it's really hard to find green things, so I don't wear a ton of like bright green. So I was really excited about this dress and it's definitely got prairie vibes. So the brand is Zara and actually, I did get another Zara dress that's floral too. This one is long sleeve um, and kind of a little bit shorter than a maxi, um, but yeah, I just love it. Actually, the price of these were both estimated at $46, but then I got them for only $24.99. I really like both of these. Oh, I almost forgot. This cool little number. This is like the craziest printed thing that I've ever owned in my life. Um, but yeah, when I saw it, I was like, I need that. Actually, it's not even a brand. It's like a no brand brand. So I don't know, the estimated retail was like $48 and I got it for $17. So that's totally worth it because like this is definitely a kind of piece, you know, just super one of a kind. Nobody's gonna have it. So yeah, I'm excited uh, about wearing this one. 
Um, but I think I'm going to see with my husband which of the three dresses he wants me to wear, and then I'll style that look up for you guys. Okay, babe, which one of these dresses should I wear tonight to, on our date? On the date. I put on a shirt when I'm going to a date. Which one do you want me to style up? Um, which like one do you want to see one. me in? That one? Okay, yeah. good choice. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, so here's the dress on. It's kind of like this midi length. So I think I definitely want to wear boots because otherwise I'll probably get cold. I put on some socks and these little suede booties. I'm actually not going to wear this, but I thought this little vintage chore jacket over the top of this outfit looked really cute. Okay, so I put on this like, it's kind of like a forest green. I've had this coat for like three years. I love it so much. I gotten so much use out of it. I love the length of it. I think it's really cute. It's kind of menswear inspired. I think final touches are going to be lipstick and a bag and maybe a ring or something like that and then I'll be done. All right, so I went ahead and put on some like creamy matte pink lipstick. Um, I added these little tortoiseshell earrings. I used to wear a lot of rings like this one all the time and I just haven't worn them that much lately so I thought it'd be fun to throw this guy on. Okay, so then for my bag, I grabbed my little forest green bag. I thrifted this in my video where I went thrifting for wedding looks that I did with Beth. And yeah, I just think that whole outfit's really cute. I'm happy with how it turned out. Anyways, see you guys later. So this is going to be a super quick oud. I'm having a Friendsgiving here at my house and so I don't have time to film a lot. But I centered this outfit around this little dress that I thrifted a couple weeks ago. And um, I posted about it on my Instagram. You can find it under my tiny hauls section on my Instagram. But anyways, I went thrifting, found this dress, which... I was utterly shocked because I've been looking for one of these dresses and basically they are $200 to $300 online. So I was super stoked. Like I said, I have been trying to find floral dresses at the thrift store. This was like the first one that I found like ever. Anyways, so I wanted to pair it with these super cute little Justin boots. As you guys probably know, I have been wanting some cowboy boots for a while and haven't found any at the thrift store. I just can't find any good ones. So I found these on Thread Up though. They're like a blue color. Um, so boots like this, they were estimated at $120 and I got them for 55. So I felt like that was totally worth it for a cool pair of leather cowboy boots that I'm probably gonna wear a lot. So I like how it looks with this dress too. I think the dress is like the perfect length for the boots. And then I paired it with these little Native American sterling silver earrings that I got thrifting a long time ago. And then a lip color that matches the color in the dress. So that's my look. And then I'm gonna throw on a sweater over the top of it. This little cinnamon sweater I feel like is perfect with this whole outfit. Um, I like the color for Thanksgiving especially. It feels very fall, very Thanksgiving. Um, so yeah, I am going to wear this over the top of this until I get too hot, if I get too hot. And then I will take it off and show off the cute little dress underneath. Okay, I changed my mind. I'm going to wear this little fringe vintage suede jacket. I think it looks cute. Yeah. That's gonna be my outfit of the day today. Good morning. I am getting dressed today to just go to coffee with my husband. And I have been wanting to wear this little top here. So this is a little Zara gingham blouse that um, I think was estimated at $50 original price. And then I got it for $25. Um, but it's just, it's a nice long sleeve shirt. I don't have a ton of long sleeve plain shirts. I need them for layering in the winter time, especially here in San Francisco. Okay, so I paired it with my rib cage denim and I kind of like how it's like a little bit loose. So I'm gonna find some shoes and probably a second layer. I decided to pair it with my red booties, which 
since my last video, Rework Your Wardrobe, I feel like I've been getting more ideas on how to style these boots up. Um, and I like it with this little gingham top. I think it's cute. And then the blue jeans. Okay, and then this coat is kind of crazy. I've been really into this like oversized, slouchy, just like big chunky coats look. So when I saw this coat on ThreadUp, I was super excited and snagged it. This is actually Mark by Mark Jacobs, which I love his stuff, and I always felt like it was like way out of my price range, which it is like regular price, definitely out of my price range. This coat, I think the estimated retail was $498. Like I would never ever be able to afford this coat. But on ThreadUp, it was only $82. So I definitely put that in my cart. And it's super soft, cozy. I think I'm gonna top this look off with a red lip and maybe my Robert's Western World bag or something like that. All right, so this is gonna be the final look. I paired it with my bag I got from Nashville and then I paired it with my sunglasses that I always wear. It's like a great cozy coffee morning outfit and also I'm really feeling my wet hair right now because <laughs> I feel like it's giving it the whole outfit this like I don't care I just you know rolled out of bed rolled out of the shower type of look um, and anytime you can look chic while also looking like you didn't try too hard I feel like is a win-win situation so all right I will see you guys later Hey guys, so today is going to be a rather lazy day. I'm just hanging out at home editing, so I want to be really comfy. And I was thinking about wearing this black sweater that I got. Actually, it's really funny because I bought a bright blue sweater on ThreadUp a couple months ago. It's Zara. I just got on ThreadUp recently and I found the same exact sweater in black and I was so excited because I've been wanting a chunky black sweater which I don't have and I already knew I liked the fit of this one. They estimated that the retail price was $46 and I got it for only $17.99 so snuggly and soft too. So I want to wear that one today because it's just really cozy. Um, I like to wear sometimes like just like long dresses around the house because they're so comfortable. I was thinking about wearing that like Egyptian one that I showed you guys. So and then putting the sweater on over top. So let's try that. So here's the dress on. I really like it. I'm going to throw a sweater over it and I'm probably going to put a belt on and tuck the sweater in. All right, so I put this little belt on and I thrifted this. It's a cool little silver belt and it's adjustable, I really like that. And I like how it kind of blends into the dress so it's not like a black band, it just, um, it does define my waist but it kind of also blends in seamlessly with the dress and it's not super noticeable. All right, so I'm gonna throw on the black sweater now and then I'm just gonna do a little tuck in the front. So this is the sweater untucked and I still think it looks cute. However, when I roll it up just a little bit, it makes my legs look a little bit longer, right? So I feel like that's kind of the appeal of the high waist on things is like gives you longer looking legs and who doesn't want longer legs? I don't know. So I tucked it up a little bit and it's just like in the belt right here. And now it looks like I have longer legs, which is kind of tricking the eye into thinking that I'm a little bit taller than I really am. So <laughs> anyways, so this is what I'm gonna be wearing today and I'll see you guys next time. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I hope you got some outfit inspo for how you can style up some looks um, for this winter season. And don't forget, if you need to purchase any specific items that you've been looking for for the holiday season, go on ThreadUp's website and get 30% off your first purchase with my code ERICA30. All right. Remember, ladies, you are beautiful just the way you are. Until next time, bye.